This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is cry du chat syndrome? Answer, cry du chat syndrome is a congenital deletion on the short arm of chromosome 5. Question, what is the meaning of cry du chat? Answer, cry du chat is French for cry of the cat. Question, what are the common findings in individuals with cry du chat syndrome? Answer, common findings in individuals with cry du chat syndrome include microcephaly, moderate to severe intellectual disability, high pitched crying, epicanthal folds, and cardiac abnormalities. Question, can you give an example of the high-pitched crying that is associated with cry du chat syndrome? Answer, the statement I cry when I am very sad is one example of the high-pitched crying that can occur with cry du chat syndrome. Question, what are the chromosomal abnormalities seen in cry du chat syndrome? Answer, cry du chat syndrome is caused by a deletion on the short arm of chromosome 5, specifically 46, 20 or XY, 5P. Question, what are the symptoms of cry du chat syndrome? Answer, the symptoms of cry du chat syndrome include microcephaly, moderate to severe intellectual disability, high-pitched crying, epicanthal folds, and cardiac abnormalities. Question, what is the cause of cry du chat syndrome? Answer, cry du chat syndrome is caused by a congenital deletion on the short arm of chromosome 5, specifically 46, 20 or XY, 5P. Question, are there any specific cardiac abnormalities that are commonly seen in individuals with cry du chat syndrome? Answer, one common cardiac abnormality seen in individuals with cry du chat syndrome is a ventricular septal defect. Question, is cry du chat syndrome a common genetic disorder? Answer, cry du chat syndrome is a rare genetic disorder with an estimated incidence of 1 in 20,000, 50,000 live births. Question, can cry du chat syndrome be treated? Answer, cry du chat syndrome is a genetic disorder and currently there is no cure. Treatment is focused on managing the symptoms and providing support for individuals and families affected by the condition. This may include physical therapy, speech therapy, and special education services. Question, what is the prognosis for individuals with cry du chat syndrome? Answer, the prognosis for individuals with cry du chat syndrome varies depending on the severity of the deletion and the presence of associated medical issues. Most individuals with cry du chat syndrome will have moderate to severe intellectual disability and will require lifelong support. Question, is there any genetic counseling available for families affected by cry du chat syndrome? Answer, yes, genetic counseling is available for families affected by cry du chat syndrome. This can help families understand the condition and the risk of recurrence in future pregnancies. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.